I feel like myself, along with the rest of humanity, are against frivolous lawsuits. Like the, the, the sorts of lawsuits where somebody goes to a grocery store and pretends to slip and fall over and then sues the mango company in the produce section for making mangoes that are too moist, right? Like that sort of frivolous lawsuit. I think it just represents everything that's wrong with humanity. Like I, those types of people baffle me. The types of people that require you to put like four different wet floor signs because they'll sue you if the wet floor sign isn't like close enough to the particularly wet spot on the floor. Or the types of people that try to pretend to get hit by cars, right? Like the, the, this is just the worst version of humanity. And when you, when you spend so much time consuming that worst version of humanity, it's very easy to forget that there's an actual reason that lawsuits exist in the first place, right? That there, there was a reason that those were invented, right? You know, that somebody was sitting there, Albert Einstein, right? <laughs> Thomas Edison inventing the lawsuit, you know, right next to electricity or the theory of relativity in the wrong order, but you understand what I was saying. The lawsuit emerged as a way to get back what you're owed from the people that screwed you over. And Copa America and the people at the Hard Rock Stadium in Miami, they did some serious screwing over. And there are lawsuits happening. There are lots of lawsuits happening. I told you when the, I, I told you, and you, you, you all probably knew too, that when this happened, there were going to be lawsuits. And apparently, rather amazingly, the first lawsuit was filed barely 15 hours after Argentina lifted the trophy. And it was far from the last lawsuit of people that, look, honestly, if anybody is owed anything, if anybody deserves anything, it's these freaking people, right? Because I can't even imagine the situation that they were in. I'm talking about the Copa America final and the gates get stormed and all of a sudden the stadium's over capacity, but you just spent $4,000 on a couple of tickets to go to this game and then you can't get in because the stadium's over capacity already. I mean, that is, that is, that is the best use of a lawsuit I've ever heard of. Now, that first lawsuit came from somebody named Jacqueline Martinez. This is all according to The Athletic, who did a great job kind of compiling all of this. And she purchased four tickets for $4,400. $4,395.59. But you get the idea. We're talking about 3,600 3, pounds, right, worth of Copa America Finals tickets for four people. Right, and you're not, and, and, and apparently, according to Jacqueline Martinez's lawsuit, she and none of the four people with those four tickets were able to make it into the stadium at all. They were unable to make it into the stadium at all. Now, part of the lawsuit is accusing the organizers of a failure to implement an adequate crowd control measure, uh, security protocol, or ticket verification process, which is the biggest no shit moment of all time. There was a second lawsuit which is claiming $50,000 in damages. Now, this lawsuit's the same type of lawsuit. It's the we couldn't get in the stadium lawsuit. But then they're also starting to get sued for maybe what is a bit more of a gray area, but people that are suing the organizers for like actual physical trauma. Uh, Isabel Quintero is suing Hard Rock Stadium and Conmebol uh, because she suffered severe injuries due to unruly guests which were foreseeable and preventable. She said she was pushed, trampled, and slammed into objects as a result of the, the defendant's complete disregard for safety of its invitees. And it's not just individual lawsuits either. Because there were so many people that were adversely affected by this, they've actually started a class action lawsuit against Hard Rock Stadium and Conmable. The suit is against Hard Rock Stadium. It is actually not against Conmable. So the class action lawsuit is directly against Hard Rock Stadium. And it projects that it could be joined by up to 7,000 people. There could be 7,000, that, that's their projection. As many as 7,000 individuals could end up joining this class action lawsuit to try and recruit, like recoup the actual cost and the extra emotional and nonsense costs and everything else of not being able to get in the stadium after buying tickets. The person that started this one's a guy named Jason Manco who spent $5,486.94 on two tickets. On two 
tickets. You could buy a car for that amount of money. He spent that to get two tickets to go to Copa America and was not able to get into the event at all. You might have noticed that these lawsuits are all kind of going after some various combination of Conmebol and Hard Rock. Some going after Hard Rock, some going after Hard Rock and Conmebol, some going after Conmebol, and that is illuminated even further by the fact that Conmebol and Hard Rock have started throwing shit at each other like monkeys in a zoo, because Conmebol released a statement. Uh, they released a statement basically alleging that they made recommendations to the Hard Rock Stadium that were not followed. Uh, and then Hard Rock made its own announcement saying that it actually, in many cases, exceeded Conmebol's security recommendations only for all of this shit to hit the fan anyways. It is worth mentioning that both Hard Rock and Conmebol officials were both saying that you could request refunds if you were denied entry from Ticketmaster, if you bought it from a third-party site, you'd have to request from that third-party site. But then anybody that's ever used those websites before for more than five seconds knows that I would rather gouge my eyes out with a rusty spoon than attempt to request a refund from Ticketmaster and try to prove that I wasn't able to get into the stadium. So I am all team these lawsuits. These, I mean, this is just the situation where the lawsuits need to be brandished and the amounts of money being thrown around could actually get really serious. It looks like if you didn't get into the stadium, the damages they're going for consistently are about $50,000 a person. If you get that amount of money in the settlement, you might just want to save it so you can buy 10 tickets to the next Copa America final instead of buying a small house. Perhaps the most damning accusation of all comes from one attorney, Judd Rosen, who's representing one of the people that is involved in the lawsuits. He said that instead of hiring more police officers and security guards, the people organizing the event put profits over safety. Said this was a cash grab. All of the money they should have spent on appropriate safety plans and adequate safety teams they put in their pockets. Stadium officials also declined to comment when they were approached by the AP News reporter. You can rest assured that the fallout from the Copa America final legally is going to basically take years and end up costing Conmebol and probably the Hard Rock Stadium millions of dollars in settlements to make sure that all of this is finally done and dusted and buried. But honestly, just finally a lawsuit I can get behind. Legal proceedings that make sense to me. We live in a society, man.